Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So Space Marine Adventures. This is looking kind of glorious. Very, very glorious. If you didn't watch my previous video the other day, um, I mentioned about the Space Marine Hero series, which is going to be coming to the global market very, very soon. At the end of this year, they said. So it's got to be very... I'm, I'm Hopefully it's going to be around September-ish or something like that. It's probably going to release around Christmas time for big, nice Christmas influx. But this game, Space Marine Adventures, actually uses some of the models from that set so if i was a betting person i would probably say when this game comes out the space marine heroes will probably come out around about that time as well so this is the article for space marine adventures and you can see gen con is in indianapolis am i pronouncing that right american in there funny funny states um <laughs> which is going to be august the 2nd to august the 5th 2018 and this is one of the big things which is uh, going to be there now i actually did a video of this way way back when we uh, got a couple of um um pictures which was at like a, i think it was like a hobby event or something like that and it was necrons and we actually thought it was a necron game but it's not really a necron game it's more of a space marine game where necrons are, are a part of that game and it's of course as the logo states here space marine adventures so the article itself over the warhound community goes into a bit of information about it it says in this fast paced board game one to four players which is good i I, I like to get as many friends in as possible. Well, I think one of these things about these skirmish games... Now, I know a lot of people dislike the way GW are going with the skirmish games. But me, personally, I absolutely love it. I see it as a gateway into 40k to get you hooked and then they have your soul and then they you just go in and spend you know hundreds of hundreds of pounds creating an army i think i think it's absolutely fantastic so it says uh, a board game for one to four players you'll command one of five space marines as you make your way through a necron tomb complex experience deadly hazards and alien horrors and use your space marines unique skills to overcome the traps and the guardians of the tomb and as you can see if we just hope open the picture here you can actually see like the board itself like the marines you've got basically salamander blood angel space wolf imperial fist and of course mr mr ultramarine and you've got all the cars down here all your dice and that kind of stuff it, do you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of a kind of shade spire is that the right word to use 40k shade spire um i've never played shades by so I, I, I don't really know i've just seen like what it looks like on the board but that's what it, it it that's the first thing that jumped into my head straight away when i saw this so you've got the, like the data cards down here and stuff with all the stats of your characters which is fantastic i call the imperial fist if i'm ever going to meet up and play with you chaps like at warhammer world and stuff i i technically call the imperial fist he's mine and mine alone you can't call that um, anymore so it goes into more information about the actual models you get in the box and this way it goes back to what i said before about the space marine hero set so the five push push fit plastic models are available in the u.s for the first time with this release you may recognize them as part of the japan exclusive space marine heroes range each can be built without glue and comes in colored plastic along with a card describing their abilities which we've just seen then so again um it's basically like the 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 japan exclusives i know series 2 launches very very soon and um, where you get all the terminators i'm wondering if you've got any expansions for this where you can jump in and um you can play as terminators and stuff like that i think that would be incredible you can you can really start to go anywhere with these board games you know you just release an expansion this is a terminator expansion and stuff like that and it's not going to be really cost effective for you as the consumer you just jump in buy the models and a couple of cards and off you go so that's why i think these skirmish games are very very awesome to bring new people in and even even people like me who have you know spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on models it brings us into these environments as well which is really really cool and this is the box down here the box looks absolutely look at labyrinth of the necron space marine adventures there we go ultramarine blood angel space wolf salamander and of course the glorious son of dawn now um a little bit more information information down here it says you'll also find in the box no fewer than three double-sided game boards so you can switch it around and stuff like that um i wonder if you can actually like buy two of these boxes or maybe they've got to do expansions where you can you know uh, add more to the actual game board itself and make it uh, a lot bigger and stuff but you know the the limitations are endless for this kind of stuff as i just mentioned along with a host of cards count as a dice a 16 page book which introduces the games and teaches you how to play then shows you how to advance to level two and three once you've mastered the labyrinth and want more of a challenge with this the five different space marines to choose from uh, and nearly 30 cards of war gear and abilities there's a ton of repellability but the fun thing 
is actually down here. It says, because of Space Marine Adventures is aimed at those new to Warhammer, like I just said, a gateway into the hobby, you won't find it in your usual gaming stores. And uh, we have plenty of other great games you can buy in those. So it's saying it probably won't be in like GW or like, for example, like Element Games, like where I buy mine from, shameless plug. Instead, you'll be able to pick it up at stores across the US and Canada this autumn, including many Barnes and Noble locations. So they're actually branding out now. GW are going out there, getting into these big, big high streets like Barnes and Noble, these big consumer places, and putting their products on the shelves. So when people come in and go, huh, that looks pretty cool. I'll pick that up. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's Space Marines. Okay, I like this. I'm going to go buy some books of them. When, where do you get the books from? Barnes and Nobles. And next thing you know, you've like a sold your soul and you have like a 3,000 point Space Marine army and you're going, oh my holy emperor of mankind, what have I done? So this is marketing 101. It is absolutely smashing out the park and if you go and read the financial statement in the video i put out the other day gw are just they're just home running it at the moment there's so much profit they're getting they are absolutely just wrecking face it's probably i think they, they mentioned that it's the most profitable the company's ever been so that goes to show you that this new social media they're all doing and the new marketing and this this kind of product brand they're doing now is really earning them the cash and props to them it really really is a great system to uh, go with all right, chaps, that's me done for another video. Go and check this article out for yourself over on the Warhammer community website. The link is in the description. I'm super excited. Hopefully, it's going to be coming to the UK very, very soon. It only mentions the US for now, but I can see this being a global product. Of course, it will be eventually find its way to my mailbox, even if I have to pay some someone in the US to uh, deliver it to there. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. I hope it passed on this information. And great job, GW. The future is looking absolutely glorious. See you now, and... Bye-bye.